Now, live from your local news source, this is ABC 27 News at Noon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm James Crumble. State lawmakers are running out of time. Today's the deadline for the new legislative map. Will they approve one today? Dennis Owens live at the state capitol in Harrisburg with the latest on the discussions. Good afternoon, Dennis. So good afternoon. It's a very simple question. You don't expect a simple answer, do you, James? The deadline, air quotes, is today for maps that will determine your congressman or woman for the next 10 years. The state house, we've been telling you, passed a map two weeks ago. It was drawn by citizen Amanda Holt, tweaked by House Republicans. Governor Wolf has said it is not acceptable to him, and he does have veto power. The Senate is grappling with maps right now. Negotiations are ongoing, but there is also the feeling that this is likely to end up in court, as is typically the case. Senate State Government Committee Minority Chair Sharif Street told me moments ago they are doing their job, but it's likely not enough. I would say it, it, it's likely, but we, uh, we continue to, to uh, move forward with our constitutional duties, but it's likely to go in court. And there could be some period of time where we're both in court and negotiating. And I want to talk about that, and that's why I use the air quotes about the deadline. If the courts see that the, that the let lawmakers and the governor are negotiating in good faith and might be moving toward a resolution, the courts may hold off a little bit uh, on, on the, the, the tight deadline. But the deadline, again, is today. And what would happen is the four caucuses would all submit maps, and then the courts would have to decide which of them is best or perhaps uh, uh, draw one of their own. So again, as we've been reporting, this is likely headed for court. If you're wondering about state house and state senate seat, that's a different process. That's the Legislative Reapportionment Commission. Hopefully your eyes haven't glazed over already. They're supposed to vote on final maps this Friday. So those maps will be firmed up. But again, if they're challenged, they too could end up in court. Court is a familiar theme today, James, as we talk about both congressional maps and the state house and senate maps. That's the story in the Capitol. Let's send it back to you. Okay, then. So these congressional maps that we're talking about with the with the deadline, air quote, being today, what is the possible consequence if this is not finished and it goes to the courts? Well, then the courts would be doing the maps themselves, and then uh, people would have to live with it. They're going to take a lot of input. They'll take maps from the different caucuses. They'll look at different things uh, and, then, and then put out their own maps, as they did in 2018 when the state Supreme Court stepped in and redrew maps that they said were gerrymandered from way back in 2012. So the courts ultimately have power. Remember, if it goes to the Supreme Court, state Supreme Court, that is heavily Democratic, five to two Democrats on the high court. So that might be, a lot of folks are saying, Governor Wolf intended to veto all along, so it goes to the Democratic controlled courts. But again, process still playing out. Deadline is today. They are negotiating. We'll see what happens. As they say in the TV business, James, stay tuned. That we will. All right, Dennis Owens, live for us there at the state capitol. Thank you very much for that. All